Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me show you. I got a few things to show you what I got done on the bike the other night. Uh, powder coating and get the motor cleaned up. Then I'm going to show you what uh, I took a little trip this morning. Facebook Marketplace, man. I got to stay off that thing because every time I get on there, it's like I got to go make a road trip and go buy another bike or engine I found, which I'm going to show you all that in a minute. But uh, I probably need to go to rehab for mini bikes. I keep buying stuff. I might go there and meet some really cool people that have mini bikes for sale. <laughs> cool. Might look into that. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let's take a look. Let me show you what we got cooking. All right? All right. Cool. I got uh, all the parts cleaned up. This is the carburetor. Got it all disassembled and all the other nuts and bolts that I took off the engine uh, intake and whatnot. So I'm going to try and see if I find everything today. I would like to get... Uh, the carburetor rebuilt and if so i'll try and do a video on how to do a original style carburetor rebuild but that's all cleaned up there we are going to go back with uh some rust um i'm just gonna this is a gloss white so i got a couple cans of that i got all the parts cleaned up while i had it down i went ahead and uh i still got to clean all this and whatever paint comes off i'm not getting crazy with it i'm just gonna hit it real good with scotch bright hit it with some uh Lacquer thinner, or I'm, um, uh, yeah, lacquer thinner, get it wiped down uh, so, so I get all the greasy fingerprints off. We're just gonna hit it back white. Uh, so I got all the starter stuff ripped apart because I'm gonna get uh, get the spring and all that stuff all lubed back up. Uh, gave the motor, ripped everything off the motor and uh, filled all the holes up, of course. Uh, taped them all off, taped off the points, condenser, all that because I didn't want to get any water in it. But uh, I got the block pretty, pretty cleaned up. It cleaned up pretty decent. But like I said, we're gonna scuff it up, mask it off, throw a little quick uh, paint job on it, go to town. And uh, I did show y'all in the tank how the little plastic inlet that comes out of here was broke off. It was bent or folded back and cracked. So I just run a, I think it was like a, a eighth inch pipe thread type tap. Because the tank is pretty thick right here at the bottom because there's a screen inside of it. Uh, so it's kind of thick. So. I did the old fashioned way, we're gonna try it. Um, I re-tapped it and uh, smeared a little JB Weld on it. Um, we'll give it a try, cause I really wanted to use the white tank and uh, make it look cool. All right, so that's all that. And over here for the powder coating, I got the wheels powder coated the other night. I did them with the glossy black. I also did the spring that goes in the front forks. Uh, the front neck fork bolt goes through here, so you got a little springy there. Uh, I went ahead and did the foot pegs black because you won't see a whole lot of them instead of doing them purple to match the frame. So I got these glossy black, got both the, or all four wheel pieces done. I think they turned out pretty sexy, so they're all good. Uh, went ahead and did the kickstand, and uh, threw this in the blasting cabinet, and gave it a good blasting real good, and then uh, heated it up a little bit in the toaster oven, and hit it with some uh, header paint. So high temp header paint so we're gonna leave that so it looks pretty good uh got my powder which i uh, it's kind of close this right here looks a little bit different than what's actually on it of course all the powder does whenever you get it in a bag it looks it, it doesn't really look like the actual color till you heat it but i got something that was pretty close i thought would look good so we got powder in let's see oh uh, i got some nuts in <laughs> now this is how i got this nut i ordered two nuts from the same company and they sent them in one box and another one in this box. And people wonder why shipping costs so much. Crazy. Anyway, so that's where we're at on that. Um, so, uh, the weather holds out. I got a little bit of sunshine today. I'm gonna try and get all this stuff sanded and prepped and get it out on the table. I got table set up and we're gonna try and make everything shiny white. But anyway, y'all probably wanted to know what I went on a field trip this morning and picked up. Well, let me show you this mini bike. Not much of a mini bike, but it's a mini bike. Yeah. It's posted on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I think the kid said he made this back in high school years and years ago and just been sitting in his garage. He's fixing to uh, join the armed forces. Good for him. Thank you. Uh, and anyway, he had this laying around. I messaged him when hooked up with him this morning. But this is a uh, built Raptor motor. And uh, he has actually got it set up for gas now. And he gave me like a bag of jets and stuff and whatever for uh, uh, to run it on alcohol but anyway pretty cool looking i had to snag it up got a uh, fancy chrome found uh fan shroud on it 
course it is dusty as all get out. Tank's really clean on the inside. Really nice and shiny because normally your tanks are pretty roached. Uh, this thing is completely filthy, but uh, it does say it has a uh, ARC billet flywheel, billet rod. It couldn't remember what crank, I mean, uh, what cam you put in it, but it's got all billet internals. So we've got the torque tube header here. New tire, but we'll see what we'll do. I don't know what we'll do with the frame. We might be able to use this frame for uh, metal to trap my new pipe bender. But anyway, so that's what I went and snagged this morning. Thought it was pretty cool. Seen it, had to have it. I like the old flatheads. So, yeah, like I said, I gotta stay off that Facebook marketplace. Woo, man, but anyhow. All right, enough blabbering. I'm gonna turn the camera off, get some stuff prepped, and uh, we'll see if we can make some stuff shiny white. Let's get it. All right, folks, I'm gonna call this part a, a wrap for today. I tried to paint this stuff outside, but the humidity started making everything all like fish eye looking. So, had to drag out the old torpedo heater, get overspray all over everything in the freaking shop. But anyway, golly, the floor's all sticky, got all over my toolbox. Dang it. Anyway, um, I think it turned out halfway decent. Like I said, we're not doing a, a total full restoration on it. We're just uh, giving this old pig a better facelift. So anyway, I got overspray all over my glasses. I can't even see the camera. Golly. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna call that a wrap. I think we got a good enough coat of paint on it. It's like 95 degrees in the shop, sweating like a pig. Anyway, so y'all stay tuned until I get back onto it. Um, I did want to mention that I dropped the frame and the sissy bar off today to get my, my seat guy here locally to get the seat mate. So I gotta wait for that to come back. So in the meantime, I'm gonna see what else I can scrounge up and uh, get put together. We're gonna call this a good uh, stopping point, folks. We'll see y'all. Thanks.